Hey herpers, herpetologists, and everyone else. So, on this episode, I'm going to discuss the Scarlet King Snake. So, this is a native snake to Florida. Um, this one often gets confused as a coral snake and are often killed because of the um, misidentification. So, I'm going to tell you two things. So, the most important thing is I would say, if you don't know what it is and you can't identify it, just leave it alone. Because it could be potentially dangerous and it's just not worth the risk. So, the the other important thing is, is if you really just want to determine if this tricolored black, red, and yellow snake is a coral snake or a scarlet king snake or a scarlet snake, the only part that matters, and I had a good mentor tell me this once, is with all the rhymes and stuff, there could be confusion. And obviously, I want to clarify, you can't rely on it, this rhyme um, anywhere else in the world. So I would just stick to that and just Florida, basically. Because uh, even some of the, I believe it's Texas coral snakes, um, the Sonoran coral snakes, I believe they're called. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Um, their patterns can vary a little bit more than our Florida corals. So anyways, the only part that matters about the rhyme is red and yellow kills a fellow. So if the red touches the yellow, it could kill you. You see how the red's touching the black? So that's a friend of Jack. Um, but as I mentioned, I would just be more concerned with the red and yellow kills a fellow. And that's not to say that they're an aggressive snake. Yes, they are deadly, but you could walk right by one and it would never try to attack you. Um, so anyways, a little bit more on this coral snake before I end the... <laughs> this coral snake. The Scarlet King Snake, sorry, I'm talking both, um, is they're not a very large king snake species. This is a, a particularly large Scarlet King. Um, they can get a little bit bigger. Let's see if I can get a little bit of a close-up here. This is such a beautiful snake. If I could just get it to zoom in on its head. There it goes. So, very reclusive snake. Um, in captivity, these snakes are rarely seen above ground level. However, I don't know if it's the setup that I have or um, maybe this snake as an individual. Um, but this snake seems to come out every night and explore the cage and climb around and hunt for food. Obviously, you can see that this snake is healthy and well-fed. She eats wonderful for me. Um, and this is just me assuming it's a she. But you can see my hand compared to this snake. So this snake is almost two feet, just a little under two feet. I would say about 20 inches. So, um, but... Just the the colors of this snake are just phenomenal. I mean, what a beautiful, beautiful snake this is. And if you ever see one out in the wild, you're lucky because they do not come out often. So, except for at night. But anyways, this snake is going to get stressed out if I keep holding it by the tail like this. So I'm going to end the video. Um... I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, comment, and uh, maybe I can educate you on a, a little bit more snake stuff or maybe even lizard stuff soon. So we'll see you next time. Signing out, Nate's Nature Notes.